Hi there. Do you ever ask the question, why am I not fixing my leaky gut? I've gone gluten free, I've gone dairy free, I've gone on the autoimmune protocol, I've done a lot of glutamine and de deglycerated licorice and different types of nutrients like colostrum and bone broth to repair my leaky gut and I'm restricting my foods. I don't even know what I should be eating, but yet I'm still dealing with gastrointestinal problems, bloating, pain, diarrhea, constipation, um, not being able to leave my house and feeling very uh, comfortable that a bathroom's not around and I'm going to a functional medicine doctor and it's just not getting better. My name is Dr. Joel Rosen and I'm going to tell you why you're not fixing your leaky gut that no one is telling you about. Number one has to do with genetics. So you've seen the commercials, find out where your ancestry is from, probably have heard about MTHFR, but there are so many other genes that could be responsible for you not being able to repair your leaky gut. The two genes that we look at are called H, uh, sorry, are called ABP1 or AOC. And basically what they're responsible for is clearing out histamines in your GI tract. Histamines are gonna be a major nuisance. So no matter if you're going autoimmune, gluten, dairy, corn, egg, soy free, those foods are still gonna be high in histamine and that's gonna be a huge problem. Or maybe you have the HLA gene and you've gone gluten free and you thought that was enough. Potentially eating grains that look very similar to gluten, things like quinoa, tapioca, amaranth, other types of, uh, other types of genes uh, or grains that could be creating major problems in your GI tract that's not gonna be enough to just remove gluten. And then last, MTHFR is a big concern. If your MTHFR is not working optimally, then you're not gonna be making methylfolate. And if you have high histamine demands, which we're gonna talk about here in a second, you're gonna be depleting your methyl groups and MTHFR is gonna be a huge problem about it. Next is histamine production. A lot of foods have high histamines and probiotics have high histamines and even if you're going keto some of those foods like bacon and uh, and coconuts and nuts have a lot of histamine so those are very big things but what about the environment i mean you understand dogs and danders and pollens and stuff like that can really be increasing your histamine load and going gluten-free is just not enough and of course alcohol can really create a lot of histamines um, and then, of course, infection. So what if we have a Lyme or, or, a, or a mold exposure or candida and yeast or Epstein-Barr virus? All of those can be increasing your histamine burden and you're not clearing it out at the level that you need to, causing really high zonulin levels. And high zonulin equals high leaky gut, high permeability, and you're frustrated because you are doing all these awesome protocols and it's not fixing the deal because you haven't checked that out. The last thing I would say is because I'm the stress recovery ninja is, is that stress will increase your mast cell activation, which is what will degranulate and cause increased excess histamine. So if I'm in a tough relationship, tough income, tough job, tough family situation, finances, um, balancing lots of different demands. All of these things are gonna cause a lot of histamine production and you're never gonna fix it. So what do we suggest? Obviously get a proper genetic test and look at these susceptibilities, potentially looking at getting some Dow enzyme to clear out your histamines even if you don't have the susceptibility. Have someone look at your MTHFR and tell you what's going on there. Address all of your histamine producing uh, variables, whether it's the food, the environment, alcohol, infections, and most importantly, stress. Once you put all of those things together, you'll be able to repair your leaky get, gut and get on with your life. Hope that was really helpful. Make sure that you subscribe or comment or like my YouTube channel so you can get more of the same information and I can help you with your leaky gut nightmare. Thank you so much.